Um, today, um, Aska made a new friend. Her name is Tywin, and we went on the playground today, and we ate lunch, and then we did our morning work, and we wrote all about ourselves, and we came down to the carpet, and we see where there's a story that's called, of uh, that's called Gloria and Officer Buckle, and the setting takes place in in the school, and there's um, a character named named Officer Buckle, and there's a dog named Gloria, and he goes to to each school and tell his speeches, his safety speeches, and none of them listen to his safety speeches. But when he gets a dog named Gloria, they all listen to her and Gloria is doing tricks while, while Officer Buckle is, te is teaching the safety tips and everybody's eyes popped, popped out and then, and then they bust into laughter and then, and then they, they clap and then and then the news reporters they video they video him and then he he sees himself on TV and Officer Ball and Officer Buckle was 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 impressed and then the next day the teacher called that the students wanted to see him and wanted the kids wanted to see him do speeches but he frowned but he said he couldn't do it because nobody was paying attention to him they were watching Gloria and so the teacher asked can we bring the dog and so the police off so the police officer took Gloria to the school and Gloria was up there on the stage all by herself and she was lonely and she fell asleep and then the crowd was falling asleep and then the crowd fell asleep and then there was a big accident then then uh, banana pudding then banana pudding dropped all over the place and it did flip split splat splish and it caused everywhere then Miss Terry she was on um, on the swivel chair she was taking down the sign and she slipped and fell and she was wearing high heels and then then there was a big post post there was a big envelope that was filled with a whole bunch of letters that from the accident that happened yesterday and then the, and then Officer Buckle found one at the very pile and it and it was one in star shape and it was and it was a girl she said that she had she said this was the list I said dear Mr. Buckle she, ha, she had her up her safety hat on uh, but she she wrote a picture about the accident and then she put P.S. the hammer crashed on her head but she still had her crash helmet on and we also read another story that's called Enemy Pie and there was a little boy that there's a little boy, he moved to the, to the neighborhood, and his name was Jimmy Ross. But the other boy, when when he was out of the baseball game, Jimmy Ross was laughing at him. But he had a treehouse, and he was supposed to be in the treehouse. And Jimmy Ross was the only one that was on his sign, and he put it up on his treehouse. And then... He told his dad, and his dad understood. Understood, and so he got. He and so he went in the ca in the in the cabinet, and he pulled out a piece of paper, and the piece of paper on it said "Enemy Pie," and "Enemy Pie" would get rid of the enemy and 
turn your enemy into a best friend. And then, and so, Jeremy, and so the little boy went to the garden, pulled some weeds, and gave it to his dad. But he didn't, but his dad shook his head. Then he went to the garden and got some worms, but his dad shook he, but his dad said he didn't think he needed that, and then he got a rock. And then his dad said he didn't need that either. And then he, and then he took the gun out of his mouth that he was chewing all day. But his dad just gave it back to him, and then he put it in the oven. And then he turned to go out and play. But just when the little boy was searching for ladybugs, he smelled delicious. He smelled a delicious, he smelled something very delicious and his dad said she didn't really, enemy pie she didn't really smell that good and, and if the enemy, and if it didn't smell good then the enemy wouldn't eat it and the only, and the only thing he couldn't do was to go have a day with his enemy so the little boy had to go out to his had to go to his aunt, to Jimmy's Jimmy Roth house, and he so he rode on his bike, and he knocked on the door, and Jimmy was surprised to see him, and he asked him could he could they play, and Jimmy asked his mom he came out came out with his shoes, and then they went bike riding in Jimmy's in Jimmy's mom made them lunch and then, then they went over to his house and they threw water balloons at the girls and then they went to, and then they put on his trampoline and Jimmy taught him how to how to flip how to flip really high and then they went over to the little boy's house and Jimmy recognized his his tree house and so he asked to go in his tree house but Jimmy said yes he but he climbed ahead of him and and he climbed ahead of him to and he tore off the paper and then he they and then he went up to there tree to his tree house and then they had checkerboards and cards and then and then when his dad called them down for dinner they were trying to hide but somehow they did his dad found him and for dinner they had macaroni and cheese which is Jamie's favorite and the little boy's favorite and then after and then after dinner they had they had dessert it was called and they had enemy pie and Jim, and then the little boy's dad cut it into pieces and then they served it on plates and then he got a big scoop of ice cream and put it on the pie and then they gave him forks and then they started to eat it and then and so the little boy couldn't let Jimmy eat the pie because Jimmy was his best friend and, he, and then the little boy said, no Jimmy don't, I can't let you eat the pie and so Jimmy said, if it's, if it's bad pie, how come his dad was halfway eating it and then they started laughing and then they were eating enemy pie and the little boy had just lost his favorite, his best enemy and that's this end of it. Today at school, Miss um, Bennett put up um, a puzzle piece, and um, when every time when we earn a uh, um, every time we earn a compliment, we get a Miss um, Miss Bennett's put put up um, a piece to go with the puzzle piece. There's something else I had to tell you. We. When she puts up the whole puzzle piece, we can get, by Friday, we can get a prize. And I have a sprint. And sprint is something that you, you have a, a clock. And 
a paper and it has questions on it and you have to answer, I mean it doesn't have questions but it has numbers on it and um, you have to figure out the, the, the sprint, you have to figure out the numbers, you know, that. and then when you set the timer, you, you start, well, the teacher, when she set the timer, she says go, and then you start, and then when the timer, excuse me, and then when the timer runs out, then you gotta stop. And we have lunch and breakfast today. For, for breakfast, we had um, milk and oranges and juice and the uh, sandwich. It was um, cheese and uh, bologna. Thing was bologna. turkey, turkey sandwich. And for I mean, and for um, dinner, I mean for lunch, lunch we had um, peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a sandwich. At lunch, we had peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I think so. We did. And we also had peas and carrots, and we also had um, mashed potatoes as a side. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we had um, uh, applesauce and um, pears. Mm, and good. apples. Apples? Mm -hmm. Those were pears. I didn't see any apples. They were apples. And the little cookie bags in the bags. Um, pears are green, apples are red. Or it can be a green apple. Mm -hmm. um, we also want to see about what we did over the summer mm -hmm. and ways to keep and ways to be safe. You talk about the beach. Yes, ma'am. And when I got the boxy goes and my grandma's birthday party. Oh, uh, yeah. What about Daddy's birthday party? Oh, we can only write four. I didn't think of I didn't think of that. Uh, I got a lot of points. Oh, I got points too. I got dojo points. I and got one for being quiet in the hallway. And I got one that. for listening. And I got to have extra points for for being on the Wolf Pride. It was like this. Uh, oh. I was the first one in the class doing it. Oh. Me too. Um, I, you know, when she was talking to another person, I was the only one quiet. Me and Essence and Michelle and Leah, we were trying to go with pride. And everybody else was talking. Mm -mm. And everybody, well, everybody else was talking. Well, not everybody, it was just some of the people who was talking. And I was showing my wolf pride. And Mr. Matt and Miss. Uh, Miss Miss Bennett saw me. She was like, "Good job." They gave me a compliment. Oh. Did you have the bag tax? Huh? Did you have bag tax? What's bag tax? Bag tax. What's that? It's not. It's like when I said bragging. It's like some bragging. It's like somebody's bragging on you. Like, oh, you did something great. Good job. Like that. Or like you got it, you, you go great and stuff like that. And um, after I do this, I need a, I, I have a schedule that says afternoon schedule, I mean not an afternoon schedule, but it does have an afternoon schedule and um, a morning I, schedule and a bed night and a bedroom schedule and a free time schedule. Um, you mean morning and afternoon schedule? Yes, and the bedtime schedule. Schedule. Mommy put it on there. She said, at the at the bottom, she said, at, at the uh, what? Three something. Three six a.m. Something. Three p.m. Yes, three p.m. And um, at the like when when she when she put a period, she said, I love Renee. If you guys like our video, comment below and subscribe for my videos. Bye!